Hello everybody, this is Rolo with Winter Bros. In this video segment, we're going to demonstrate how to create your own texture template uh, when you purchased an item like this monokini clothing that we're shown here uh, that didn't include one. We'll begin by uh, showing you in Dash Studio 4.8. Uh, you can see here we've loaded the Sophia character for the Genesis 3 female and we've applied the monokini uh, clothing outfit to her. Uh, when we go to the uh, to find to know whether or not a product you purchased has a template uh, texture template included with it, you would actually look in the product library at NAS 3D or wherever you may have purchased the product. Uh, here you can see the uh, Monokini product at NAS 3D and our product library. We pull it up, and you can see at the bottom the only file included is the Monokini. Normally you'll see an additional file that says templates or something like that if a template file has been included with it. However, we can use the original product and the textures that were supplied with it to create our texture template. The first thing you'll do is you'll uh, want to open up the zip file, download the zip file manually, and then you'll want to open it up. And when you look in the zip file, this content folder at the very top here basically equates to your My das 3D library in your das Studio. And under that, there's the uh, the generic legacy runtime folder for which is from the original poser. And under that, you'll see there's a textures folder, and in this uh, example, the shocks was the original creator, and the Monokini product. And that's where we're going to be looking to find our, uh, see if we can find a graphics file that help us to create our template. And now we've opened that folder up, you can see that we have runtime textures, shocks, Monokini here, and you can see it actually came up under the MyDAS 3D library. Uh, we can see there's uh, several image files within this folder. And you can see that these uh, the speed monokini and the spec monokini have some different shapes in them, and those basically correlate to the uh, clothing product monokini. So what we're going to do is we're going to use this uh, B monokini, which is actually the bump map file, to create our texture template. For the purposes of demonstration, we're using the GIMP version 2.8. Uh, you can use Photoshop, PaintShop Pro, or whatever uh, art program you're more comfortable with. So when you're going to go create your uh, texture template, which you might want to just keep it yourself or share, uh, you want to probably just basically we're going to clean it all up and make something that we can use, that's a little more useful for us for creating new textures to apply to the uh, monokini clothing. Uh, this monogram at the top here, we really don't need that because we're going to replace it later on with some other stuff. So we can select that and delete it. And of course the tools you use will be dependent on the uh, product that you're using to modify and make your own texture template. You can see that we just selected all the black area and we got rid of it. And now we're going to select none. And you can see we already got the beginning makings of a texture template. Now you depending on whether you want a white surrounding area or a black surrounding area, it's up to your preference. Uh, in this case we're going to go ahead and leave ours white and we're going to show you how to uh, create a colorized template which we're going to include on our download site for free and what we're going to do basically is what we would for us we are going to uh, select a particular region uh, we're going to invert our uh, we're going to select all the outside region and we're going to make all the inside black for uh, this demonstration so we inverted our selection so now it's all this gray looking stuff and we did a bucket fill for the whole selection which would make it black and for us that just makes it easier so we can select individual regions like this top region here uh, we want to pick it and we'll just change our bucket fill color really quick to a uh, a golden yellow with something similar to that and you can see how we've created that now we'll go ahead and finish this up really quick and you're going to see the whole product uh, this whole colorized template you can see here we went ahead and color filled all the different regions with different colors from the color palette and we went ahead and put a little text at the top monokini color guide that we can save with our texture uh, template file so that when we uh, somebody sees it they'll know what product it went with. You probably should put a little more details up here like the uh, real product name, the original artist so that if they, if they don't have that product, the monokini clothing in this case, they can go purchase it to go with the texture template file you're providing. Now we're going to return to DAS Studio and we're going to show you how this looks applied to the actual uh, monokini clothing. You can see here we've returned to uh, DAS Studio and we want to look over here in the scene tab make sure we've got the monokini selected and we're going to go ahead and minimize that really quick so we can span the side over here so you can look at the surfaces tab in this panel and you can see there's the monokini. We'll go ahead and select it. 
Now with the Monokini uh, outfit you could just uh, use this color bar here and you could change the solid color if you just want the whole uh, Monokini to be one color. Um, however what we're going to demonstrate is how to use this little box to the left here and that will actually let you open an actual image file to be applied to the uh, Monokini and here's that color guide that we created so we're going to open it up really quick and there you go you can see it's applied and we can see that the yellow is uh, this big area region and you see that if we zoom in a little bit you can see the different colors on the beads and the straps they all have different colors that actually match what was on that color guide so then you can kind of figure out what it's going to look like when you uh, load it in uh, onto the product so we're going to also show you really quickly, uh, we'll go back, we're going to return to GIMP and we're going to show you how to use the template to create something a little more texture and a little more oomph. Okay, in this version of the texture template, you can see we left a black surrounding uh, area and we're using white for the actual color fills. So we're going to go up here in the GIMP and use this color selector to select all the white regions. And we're going to use a pattern fill this time. And what we want to do is we're going to look for the, there's a cubert pattern here, it looks like a little cube. We're going to click it, and we're just going to go ahead and just use that as a pattern fill for the whole selection. And it makes a, and you know, just to demonstrate how you can use different things, you could use florals, you can use any kind of a pattern you like, you could hand paint with the, the brushes and stuff into these areas to make it look like whatever you want to apply it over to the monokini. So we're going to go ahead and uh, we'll go do a, we're going to save this as a Qbert uh, PNG file for the B Monokini, and then we're going to load it into DAS Studio in just a second and show you how that looks. So here we've returned to DAS Studio, and we're going to go back over here to the Services tab in the same region, and we're just going to select the, uh, we're going to browse for and find our, our new Qbert image we just created, and we'll just load it in. And there you go. And you can see that looks really nice. I mean, I know we we just did a, a pattern fill for the whole every region that was used on the product, but it actually came out pretty good. Even the beads seemed to uh, the texture seemed to work pretty good with the beads, the straps. So uh, if you quickly just need to get a different look, let's say you have a whole bunch of uh, characters wearing this product at the pool or whatever your scene is at the beach, and you need them all to look a little different, you can do that. Uh, you can also go a little further and you could put stripes on it in different uh, things uh, in your text or template or in your template uh, texture file that you're going to apply. And you can make some really nice looking things for the B Monokini. Uh, of course, making that original text or template file will make it speed it up really quickly and make it a lot easier on you. And we hope that this video has helped you somewhat and we hope that you expand your creativity. And Winter Bros is just happy to present this to you free charge.